welcome to Like Mother, Like Daughter. Today I'm going to be doing a video all by myself except for my mom. She's right over there working. And today I'm in my basement, which is where my mom works out of. And I'm doing it so I can be here with her. Watch what I situate myself. Okay. Um, mom, say hi. Hi. See, she's here. She just wasn't someone to be in the video. Um, so I'll probably be reminding myself to back up. I'm gonna roll a chair so I can do that. And to talk slower because what I'm gonna be doing is when I edit this, I'm gonna be making the speed faster, which is gonna make my voice higher and the video a little faster. And it'll be funny. So you guys will actually like watching it instead of just being, wow, this girl is really weird. Why am I watching this? I think I'm stuck. Okay, anyhow. Um, fact, humble, fact, numero uno, oh my gosh. I can't talk. Okay, I really like Dreamcatchers. Um, I like Dreamcatchers because my, I have an Indian heritage. My dad, you can see it in his nose and he's like constantly tan. Um, but he's got a farmer's tan. So, um, my, uh, my grandma found out that Pocahontas is my great, 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 great grandmother. It's nine greats, people. Very far away. Okay, anyhow. Um, mm, I collect dream catchers. I probably, I have, okay, so here's my bed. It's a little twin bed. And there's like that, uh, there's a window here in my room. And a corner here. And that little section of wall above my bed is full of dream catchers. And I still want more. I could look for them constantly. Um, the best gift I've ever gotten, sorry mom, is probably a dream catcher that my cousin made me. The best gift. I've ever gotten because it was so I don't know my cousin made it and um she looks she made it like she worked really hard on it she said she spent like six hours on it or something like that I don't know she could be exaggerating but um it's got all my favorite colors in it and it's just the fact <laughs> that she I didn't even tell her I wanted a dream catcher she just saw my wall and actually I rearranged my dream catcher wall and put hers in the middle of it and it's the best Awesomeness. Okay, I'm talking about this way too long. Okay, fact number two. I live on a farm. Um, we have a pasture, we raise soybeans, we raise cows, we have a barn with hay a hayloft in it that I absolutely love. Um, we have several ponds. Um, yeah, we are, okay, so here's our house. Actually, I'll do it like this. Here's our house. And then the river makes like a little bend around our house. And then our farm is like with our house. Here's the farm. The river makes a horseshoe around the farm. So when it floods, we only have one way of getting out. Which, at least we have a way of getting out, I mean. But we lose some of our crops, and that's bad. Um, anyhow, on this farm includes fact number three. Um, on the farm are six dogs. There is Mojo, who is my dog, and is in the basement right now. Um, my dog. Our dog. He is an American squirrel feist, which Mojo is pretty big for a feist. He is 40 pounds, and he is black and tan and adorableness, and he battles really well, just so you know. Um, there is Houdini, which is also a training feist. She's really tiny. Houdini is about 30 pounds. There is Tucker, who is my dog. He is a black and tan coon hound, and I love him with all of my heart. He is my dog. <laughs> he is so adorable. He is nine months old, and um, I'm five seven. and if he jumps up, he can put his paws right here. He's still growing. He's teething right now, too, which is really bad. He chews up everything, except for his teething rings that we give him. Um, dog number four is Bean, which Bean is also a feist, and... He got gravel in one eye, they had to take it out, so he has one eye. Ooh. And if you come up on the eye, decide that he doesn't have the eye, he'll freak out on you. He can't see you. Okay, dog number five, Leroy. Now, Leroy is a mutt. We got him in, I, I usually don't call dogs mutts because I feel like it's kind of mean. I mean, they have feelings too. But Leroy, we don't know what he is, but he's like yellow and white. And we know he's part Rottweiler because he has like the, the nose and the snout and face, just generally in that area. And uh, I think it was last year during the summer that he broke his leg and broke one of his back legs in several places and they had to amputate it so he's a three-legged dog. Okay, dog number seven, six, seven, <laughs> we don't have seven. Dog number six is Freckles. Freckles is not actually a dog that grew up on the farm. He is my aunt's dog and my aunt came to live with my grandparents who live right next door to me. Freckles is called Freckles, he's a bites by the way. Um, Freckles has, he's white and has black spots but he's like little tiny dots on his back. So we call him Freckles because they look like Freckles. And he's adorable, he loves blankets. He doesn't like cuddling very much but he likes blankets and he'll lick the death out of you. It's really weird. Okay, fact number four? Did I skip three? Game catchers, farm, oh, fact four, okay. So fact number four, I play volleyball. Um, I try my best at it. I don't know if I'm good enough at it or whatever, but I try my hardest, and I believe that if you try your hardest, I, play, I try my hardest, and that's what matters most to me. Okay, fact number five. I hate wearing shoes. If it was warm all the time, I would never wear shoes. I, would, I, I ruin all my socks. I do. I really do. Okay, fact number six. Um, oh, I love to sleep. That's a good one, Mom. 
Okay, here are the things that I love to do. Watch Netflix, eat orange sherbet, sleep, read, watch Netflix on my iPod, sleep some more, curl underneath blankets, uh, sleep with Mojo, sleep with Tucker. Oh my dog, just cuddle with them. Um, and I love Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is delicious. And I love, I love not ramen noodles, even though they are bad for you, but they are super cheap and super delicious. Okay, fact number seven. When I get older, I want to double major in, oh, what was it? Oh, business management and culinary arts. And then I want to open my own cafe and have a whole bunch of breakfast foods and help homeless people and have my own garden and be socially active because I have no social life except for my, what, four friends. Yeah. Okay.